हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पी पी एस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माय नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड अवर नाइन्थ मॉड्यूल दैट इज डायनामिक मेमोरी अलोकेशन एंड इन दैट मॉड्यूल वी कैन अलोकेट मेमोरी एट रन टाइम बाय यूजिंग पॉइंटर कंसेप्ट एंड टुडे In this video lecture, we are going to start our last module, module number tenth, that is file management. First of all, the word file. What do you mean by file? Uh, in computer, we have many different types of files are available. Suppose I am taking Microsoft Office Word. Then in Word, we can create our document file. Then, if you want to make presentation, then simply you have to take one. ppt file if you want to draw one picture then you can use uh, ms paint in this way we can create many different types of file but today in this video lecture we are going to talk about two different types of file first file is a text file and second file is a binary file now what do you mean by text file by using notepad application we can create text file and in this text file we can store our uh, important text and what is binary file it is one executable file that is in the form of binary means zeros and ones only so let's start which are the topics we have to discuss in this module very first topic is introduction of file then after next topic is different operation which we can perform on our file then third point is different file modes means we can open in different different modes to our file and our last topic is different file management functions so start with very first topic that is introduction so first of all what is the definition of file a file is a collection of related data that is treated as a single entity or we can say single item and this file is in the form of sequence of bits or we can say sequence of bytes or sequence of lines or sequence of statements in the any of the form this is called as a file now what is the requirement of file in our c programming so uh, in previous all the programs we have done practical and uh, we will see the output on our console screen right so at console we can enter one input and get the output but when we close our console this input and output will be disappear and we can't store this input output permanently means our data will be lost at a time but if you want to store your input output or any type of information permanently then you can use the concept of file that's why we can use the file now what is the second requirement if i have a one data in one pc and the same data i want to copy on my another pc then it is possible when i have one file of particular type that's why file is required now let's see one another topic that is different operations which we can perform on file so if you want to create one file then it is possible so a very first function is creating the new file now next function is open the existing file means uh, if we have already one file is created and you want to open it then it is possible by using particular one function then after if you have a one file and uh, some data already uh, written in that particular file then we can also read the, or write the data from our file so this is one another operation and if you have a one file and this file is not required then you can delete it also uh, and last function is close the file means if our task is completed now and you want to close the same file then it is possible so these all are the different operations which we can do on our file now if i want to create any type of file using c programming then one new concept is arrived that is one file pointer and what is pointer the pointer concept you already learn in the chapter pointer that pointer store the address of another variable but here the word is file pointer 
so what is the task of our file pointer file pointer is used to point one file particular file means if you want to create one file then using this file pointer it is possible how so just to see first of all the syntax that how we can declare our file pointer first of all we have to write data type as a file and this file we have to write in capital letters so this file indicate as a data type of file and then after write asterisk symbol and your file pointer name and how we can declare it so just to see the example first write the file in capital and one pointer here i am taking fp pointer so what do you mean by uh, this statement when this statement will execute one uh, file pointer fp will be created by using this pointer i can point one of the file now next next operation is opening a file means uh, when we can use this uh, operation so for opening a file one function is used that is f open here f indicate as a file used for file that's why in all the function first of all uh, we have to write f that indicate file now just to see the syntax how we can open the file so first of all we have to declare one pointer that data type is file now by using this pointer we can create one file so fp is equal to our function name that is f open and in bracket we have to pass two parameters our first parameter is file name and second parameter is mode now what do you mean by file name suppose i want to create one file and i want to uh, make a file that name is abc.txt then it is possible we have to write here file name and modes so we have a different type of modes we will see in next slide but uh, first of all when you create a file very first then it will always open in write mode then if you have a already existing file and you want to read from this file then you can use read mode and if you have a file and already some data is available and want to add some data then you have a one mode that is append mode now let's see the example how we can write the f open uh, function so first of all i am declaring one file pointer then fp is equal to f open and first of all in double inverted comma abc.txt means here uh, when this function will execute one file will be created text file that name is abc and the mode is w mode because initially we have to write our uh, write mode w mode that's why this is the example of text file if you want to create a binary file then how we can write it just to see the second example fp is equal to f open and in bracket first file name that is abc then extension here for binary the extension is uh, .bin and a uh, mode is wb w indicate write and b indicate as a binary so this is the example of binary mode now let's see different file modes in detail as i already said read write and append but here we can use it in this type of different different method so very first is a w w means open a text file and we can write it uh, write in our file then second is a r means if we have existing file is available and we want to read from the file then use just r mode and append append is used for adding some data in your existing file now next is a rb rb is used to read the data from the binary file b indicate as a binary same for wb wb is used for write the data into our binary file and ab means append into binary file then next advanced modes are available also r plus if we have a one existing file then we can read and write both the operation we can do it using r plus mode it is a advanced version then next is a w plus w plus means we can also read and write from our file both the operation can be done using w plus uh, then append plus so append plus is used for create a text file and we can also append in the file then next is a r plus b means 
uh, in existing binary file we can read or write the data but this be also again indicate as a binary same for w plus b means we can write and read in our binary file same for a plus b means we can uh, append in a binary file so these all are the different modes now let's see next operation that is closing a file now uh, why closing a file operation is required so uh, if you open any type of file by using any type of file pointer then you have to do some task and if your task is completed now then your responsibility is to close the particular file so uh, f close is the syntax means f close and in bracket write the file pointer so here the example is f close and in bracket our pointer name that is fp first of all when you create the file use f open and when your task is completed at last you have to write f close let's see one example how we can create the file so first of all include the header file our first file is studio.h so i am including that file now second file here i am including that is stdlib.h why this file is included because one of the function from this library i am using right now that is exit function that's why i am including it now next task is to write main function so void main and our first task is to declare our file pointer because i want to create the file from our c programming that's why so file pointer fp uh, now we want to create one file so f open is the function for creating a new file so write fp is equal to f open and in bracket our first parameter is our file name and which name you want to give your file so here i am writing data.txt so when this function will execute one text file will be generated that particular text file name will be data if you want to uh, give the name like abc.txt then just write here abc.txt and after comma you have to write one mode suppose uh, the file is not available and you want to create first time then it will open in w mode means write mode but if we have already one existing file and want to read the data from the same file then use uh, read mode after using f open you have to check that the file pointer is pointed to your file or not if not then your file pointer value will be null so write the condition that if fp is equal to equal to null if yes then just to print the message that file does not exit please check and exit one exit is a function that is used for termination of our program and uh, after executing this line our program will be terminate but if uh, our file pointer find some location of our file then it will not be null then we can do different operation on our file and after doing some operation on your file you can close the file using f close so at last you have to write f close in bracket your pointer name that is fp so in this way we can write the program using file hope guys you understand this lecture very well in next video we will see some uh, more operations or more functions which we can use in our file management concept till then take care bye bye thank you so much